This is Rap the News. What was Jesus praying to God for? And he's supposed to be God in the flesh. He's a lesser God. And why did he believe God? If he'd been there since the beginning, he Alpha and Omega. Why did he believe the creator God had forsaken him? Why is he going around preaching all things is possible with God? Why is he going around preaching, oh ye of little faith, if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you can uh, remove or move mountains. But he's saying in the end, why have you forsaken me, Father? I doubt, I don't trust. I don't believe you're going to come through. When before you said all things was possible with God. Nobody who's supposed to be God's son and God in the flesh would say, and you, you've been there since the beginning, why have you forsaken me? Unless he believed God is dirty some type of way. Something wrong. Matthew 21, 22. And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. So why was he praying to God then? To receive, right? He believed and he said you shall receive. What was that prayer about? It was about salvation. It was about not dying on the cross. But he said, believe and you shall receive, huh? And then somebody wrote in there, why have you forsaken me? Hebrews eleven six. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. Line upon line, precept upon precept. Matthew three seventeen. And low a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. That means he had faith. That means he believed. Why in the fuck did he not receive then? Somebody lying. Because let's go to the prayers now. Matthew 26, 39. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying, Oh my father. If it be possible... Let this cup pass from me. What cup? What cup? We know what cup it is. Don't let me die on the cross. That cup. Let's keep going. Matthew 26, 42. He went again a second time. The first prayer wasn't good enough. You didn't believe the first time. You believe you needed to ask God a second time. And you God in the flesh and you the son. You saying why you forsake me. You praying the second time. And he prayed saying oh father. If this cup may not pass away from me. Except I drink it. If. All things is possible with God. What you talking about if? If you believe in you, you will receive. Why are you saying if? Somebody lying. Matthew 26, 42. And he left them and went away and prayed a third time, y'all. Saying the same damn words. Remove this cup. Remove this cup. If it is at all possible, knowing that everything is possible with God, remove this cup. Does it seem fishy? People with no intelligence and low uh, frequencies is going to say what? And I got that from the idiots who believe in multiple gods. They low frequency creatures, huh? People who don't have no faith and they ain't got no brain. And they just listen to anything that they was told and their forefathers were told in church. 
They would believe some garbage like this, wouldn't they? Somebody with intelligence would question every damn thing. What did it say? The person with the spirit on them questions all things. And that's what we're doing right here. A dumbass questions nothing. He just hears and obeys foolishness. Matthew or Mark, we're going from Mark, Matthew to Mark. Mark 14, 37. Because he didn't pray the third time, right? That's noted. Then Jesus returned and found them sleeping. Simon, are you asleep? Why would you ask if you God in the flesh? He asked. Were you not able to keep watch for one hour? Wait a minute. Hold up. Damn. A thinking man is thinking again. What they watching for? What they watching for? They selling weed and they waiting for the popo to come? What they watching for? They scared of the Romans. What they watching for? They scared the Pharisees gonna come seize me while y'all yet asleep. I'm trying to pray and I can't really pray because y'all got to keep watch because the Romans, I'm the, I'm God in the flesh and I got y'all watching me. I got mere humans getting my back. Damn. Is anybody thinking? I'm God in the flesh and I got Peter and Simon <coughs> and everybody else <clears throat> watching my back. Keeping watch. Why did God in the flesh need somebody to keep watch? Just like somebody at the pearly gates saying I'm, I'm, God is sleeping. Well, we know God don't sleep or slumber. That's what the book says. But we know it contradicts itself in that too, huh? On the seventh day, he rested, right? Mm hmm. How he rested and he don't sleep in slumber? And somebody is twisting some shit, ain't they? And we're going to get to the bottom of it, ain't we? We always do, huh, Scooby? Watch. Were you not able to keep watch for an hour? So, the Son of God, the God in the flesh, need to be guarded. He ain't asking God to guard him. He asking Simon. Let's see what Simon says. I'm just, let's, let's keep going. Y'all know this is some damn lunacy. Luke 5, 16. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness. Why? Because he was trying to escape the Pharisees. He was trying to escape the Roman army. He was God withdrawing himself unto the wilderness ain't that what Satan was <laughs> and he prayed again four times huh why he praying y'all y'all know why he praying the God in the flesh need the God the creator to save him don't he don't he lunacy that's what happens when you try to add another God he don't fit do he John 12, 27. You're trying to add a second God in a monotheistic religion and all of these damn deceivers being deceived bought that. John 12, 27. Now, is my soul troubled? You God in the flesh. You the son of God. You teaching everybody about faith. You saying believe and you receive. If you had a faith of a mustard seed, all things is possible with God. Now it's your soul trouble. Trouble. And what shall I say, Father? All power is given to me from my Father. All things rest at my feet. Save me from this hour. 
Whimper, whimper. <laughs> Save me. Save me. You know, they say a hero can save you. Something wrong. Everybody know this. Come on. Do I have to think for you? I'm trying to open your eyes up. This is why the real Christ say only serve God. Because you buying this damn story. Look, I got a mountain I want to sell you behind my house. Luke twenty two forty four, And being in agony. He already troubled. He already got the creation watching his back. And he supposed to be God in the flesh. Y'all ignorant as shit, man. God in the flesh is troubled and in agony. The Son of God is troubled and in agony. He prayed more earnestly now. Oh, God supreme, the creator. You know, the one, that, the only one we supposed to be worshiping. And not being to see about uh, uh, the God of this world in the flesh. Y'all worshiping the devil. And somebody like me, gotta make you think, man, because you don't want to. You scared, ain't you? Oh, the wrath of the Lamb when he say he don't judge nobody. What wrath? And his sweat was as if it were great drops of blood down on the ground, falling. He was in agony. He was crying. He was in trouble, y'all. He didn't pray five damn times. To who we all supposed to be praying for. Why would I go through him to get to God then? And he, he can't save his damn self. When you look up moron in the Bible, or in, I mean in the, in the damn dictionary, that's Satan. When you look up moron in the dictionary, Look and see if y'all faces is under Christian in there. Mark 14, 36. And he said, Abba. Abba. Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Six damn times. Cup definition is his lot. His fate. Or portion. If you came down. So you said in other verses. So boldly to give your life to many or for many or to save you the world from their sins. And you knew that was your purpose. Why are you praying so damn much to be saved from that fate and that lot? Why you want that cup not to be filled? Sir, if you God in the flesh, why is you praying so much? Anybody using their brain now? Is it ticking? Am I jump starting that dead battery? Example. Cup. Psalms 11.6 Upon the wicked he shall rain, snares, fire, and brimstones, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. But you're praying. Let's get back to it. In agony. Wait, wait, wait. We got more folks. And you're praying. Trouble. Saying save me from the hour. When you know. You said it in Matthew 7. That pretty much as you sow you reap. Whatever you do to men that shall be done to you. Did you hang somebody from a cross? Did you kill somebody? You live by the sword. Why are you worried about it? You mean to tell me Elias had more faith when he said, if I am a man of God, then rain down fire from heaven on their asses. Why was he just one man not scared of the Roman army and the king? And then you got the son of God himself. He got Simon, simple damn Simon, watching his back. And y'all ain't deceived. 
I should name this simple Simon. Mark for you simple ones. How long will you be so simple? Mark fourteen thirty six, and he said, "Abba, take this cup." Psalm thirty four twenty. The Old Testament is saying this to prove that they didn't lie. That's why they got this sorry ass Christ now, this weak, pathetic ass God, huh? This uh, sacrilegious, uh, no faith having, you know. A uh, uh, doubting ass son. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. So you now you know your bones ain't going to be broken. It was already written by the prophets. Right? John 19.36 For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And we know that's in Psalms. Right? Line upon line. Precept upon what? Precept people. Come on, we know this. Hebrews 5, 7. Who in the days of his flesh when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears? Oh, let's go back up to it. He was in agony and he prayed earnestly. His soul was troubled. He was in tears. He withdrew himself, right? Praying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, right? With strong crying and tears unto him who was able to save him. Wasn't he asked to be saved? Right? Right? Save me from this hour. Let's go higher. Save me from this hour. Hour of power, baby. Hour of power, baby. He prayed with crying and tears. God in the flesh was crying in tears. He was in trouble. He was in agony. He was down there bleeding, praying so damn much. Right? Sweat was pouring from him, right? He went to the wilderness. He's shaking up the damn twelve. Why why you sleep? The Romans coming for me. The Pharisees, they gonna hang me. And tears unto him that was able to save him from death. And he was heard by God in that he feared the most high God. Hmm. Then who made up the story he died on the cross? Cyphus? The Pharisees, y'all know damn well y'all believe in some lunacy. John 10, 18, no man can take my life. Why? Because God heard him, right? I lay it down myself. I have power to lay it down. I have power to take it again. I received a commandment from my father that no man is going to take my life. I received a commandment from my father that no man was going to take my life because I was heard in my prayer. I cried like a motherfucker in blood, sweat, and tears. And I received a commandment from my father that no man could take my life from me. How in the fuck did he die on the cross then? For some damn ungodly sinner. When God said he don't justify the wicked by slaying an innocent damn man. Confound it. Psalm 1610. Because you protected me from the power of death. No man could take his life. I received the commandment. I was heard in prayer that I feared. I cried and prayed like a motherfucker and God heard me. Because he's just a man. I have served you faithfully. That means he a servant. He ain't no God. And you will not abandon me to the world of the dead. You ain't going to let these motherfuckers hang me. He hung from a tree. In Hebrews or Acts. No, he hung from a cross now. He died for the sinless people, the sinful people who didn't believe in God, the, the ungodly sinner, the ones who was transgressing the law and all that because I'm Judge Joe Brown now and I'm a lawyer and a damn judge. Matthew 27, 46. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, 
Eli, Eli, you need my sabotage thani. Sound like some shit you put in some damn uh, Alfredo or something, huh? Put that Eli, Eli, lemon shop about the thummy in that shit. It's going to taste good as fuck. What means, my God, my God. My God, my God. You got in the flesh talking about my God, my God. You the son talking about my God, my God. You ain't the son, you a servant. And you did what? And you served faithfully. My God, my God, why have you forsaken? Now, why if you the son of God and you God, you think God w would forsake you and you've been there since the beginning? Somebody lying. Today, I'm going to make you think. Forsaken definition, abandoned. Deserted. To leave without intending to return. Why would he think that about God? If he had faith and he was telling you to have faith, if he believed and he asked in prayer and he believed and he was answered in his prayer, why would he then say, why have you forsaken me? Eli, Eli, Lima, Sabbath, Shatani. Folks, somebody has played a game with your mind. Because in the end, after three days of staying in a tomb, look at my video from yesterday. It's going to tell you, I never died on the cross. I never ascended to the Father. Somebody lying in the damn scriptures and y'all need to stop believing that shit. This is Rap the News.